on the tape for Trocek. Jokin in for Bukestad. Bukestad looking to track it down. Oh. Goes down hard. Oh, Ouch, and Bukestad is hurt. Oh. Bukestad. You know, Randy, it, did he hit his head right into the boards? Yeah, he, he, he couldn't protect himself, and he went face first. His forehead hit the boards, and we know about the injury problems that he's had this year. Oh, boy. Now, Dave Zanobi right away taking a look. Obviously, he I think his toes uh, will, will have been picked into the ice or something. Randy, we couldn't tell from our angle. Yeah, he just lost his balance yeah. as he was going towards the that loose puck. Well, you got Doctor uh, right there waiting. Well, we take a look here as Bukestad was tied up, going in, and yeah, he just got tripped up, and then bang! Yeah. Oh boy, that's right. The price, you're right, Randy. That stick from this angle, we're seeing it. That stick you see by. Price slashing on the outside of the leg, weakened that leg, and he had no way to control his going into the boards. Yeah, and you see the face goes right off yeah. the dasher board, and down he went, and he has not moved a whole lot. Gives you a sick feeling. Nick Bukestad is down on the ice. Minute 49 gone by in the second overtime of game number five. These players are... are coached and they know their instincts to go after that loose puck and Bukestad was doing that he felt that he had an opportunity to get to that puck first and the two yeah. Islanders giving chase and this is where the injury happens when he just can't protect himself going once he lost that balance and went face first right into the board, now you're seeing him get up. Now you see the blood there. So, Bukestad is obviously, you see him woozy, bleeding. 23-year-old Nick Bukestad. You just hope he's okay. Oh, boy. Panthers medical staff out there. And the concern from the Panther teammates. And Minnesota see, native Bukestad. You see the, the blue on the on the left side. You see the blue dasher board. And that's where it looked like his face, his head came in contact, and then down he went. You know, if this were the first period of a hockey game, it may not have happened. But the fact is, is that any athlete playing this long under these circumstances, sometimes you're just exhausted enough that you cannot make that forceful play to keep yourself from falling into the boards. This is a certainly good news here, as although he's not skating quite on his own, it certainly looks like he's capable to. Bukestad going off the ice. Go right into the dressing room, obviously. Other members of the Panthers medical team waiting for him.